Salut guys and welcome to French Guy Cooking. This is what we make today. Easter is coming up next week. You forgot it. So I wanted to make a recipe for the big day. You know, the iconic leg of lamb roasted in the oven for like seven hours at 170 Celsius or 340 Fahrenheit. But basically, I just gave you the recipe like five seconds ago. Six, seven. Instead, I will show you how to turn the leg of lamb leftovers into a fresh and dynamite dish. So just get the lamb leftovers out of the fridge and let's prepare this delicious Greek lamb pita. In my opinion, there is no cuisine in the world screaming lamb like a Greek one does. Lemon, olive oil, feta cheese, oregano. This is a perfect match. The pita bread is usually a round and fluffy bread made of wheat flour. Originally, it comes from Greece, but it's also very common and popular in Arabic cultures. You can either stuff it by opening it on the side, or you could roll the fillings in. I decided to roll it up, just because the Greeks do it that way. But in order to do that, you'll have to find a bigger bread. Or we could do a cheats on it. Just find some pre-made pizza or bread dough. This stuff is cheap yet so priceless. Flatten it about half a centimeter thick, coat it in olive oil, and throw it in a pan on medium heat. Cook it a few minutes each side. Boom! The perfect big fluffy pita in no time. So let's quickly marinate the lamb. It's not for tenderizing purposes this time, it's for supporting the Greek flavors of the dish. Cut the meat into small pieces, coat it with a drizzle of olive oil, a squeeze of lemon, and a good sprinkle of oregano. Salt, a good pinch of pepper, and give it a quick massage. By the way, if you don't have lamb, you could use any meat. Chicken, beef, pork, anything will work. We will need a quick and fresh sauce. So in a bowl go one cup yogurt, a handful of grated cucumber, a clove of garlic grated as well, a drizzle of olive oil, a squeeze of lemon, salt, pepper. It really looks like a traditional Greek sauce called tzatziki. It's fresh and it will match the sandwich perfectly. For the fillings of the pita, just think of fresh products, whatever you have in the fridge, really. Now, seriously, here are some good examples. Tomatoes, red onion slices, green peppers or salad leaves. A cool addition to that will be big olives without the pits, of course. Don't know about your healthcare system, but usually it's a poor idea to bite into it. Press them down on the board until the olives break open and the pit appears. If by chance you can find Kalamata olives, which happen to be the best olives in the world for me, just don't add them to the sandwich. What? It really is a delight on its own, so take some, chill out, relax, have a glass of wine, close your eyes, feel the warm sun, listen to the cicada song. <sighs> Time to form the pita sandwich. Place a good splash of tzatziki in the center, add pieces of marinated lamb, and a handful of chopped veggies. Roll it up. I really like to finish mine with crumbled feta cheese and chopped mint leaves on top. Look at this beauty. When you bite into it, you'll get richness from the bread and the meat, then freshness from the veggies and the yogurt, and finally, a kick from the garlic and the pepper. So guys, that's it. You know, when I built this recipe, I thought of Greece, because when I was a child, I traveled there a lot. It's not a sandwich anymore, it's a piece of me. Food is about memories. So what's yours? Share it in the comments right below. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Like, comment, share and subscribe for the next video. Salut, merci!